Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name is Jennifer Bridgeport. I am a speaker and the co-host this weekend for the I Am That Woman Movement. I'm so excited to be here. I'm going to come out periodically to get an opportunity to speak to our amazing speaker. So the first powerful speaker that I'm going to be talking to today is the amazing my soul, Dr. Portia Lockett. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am wonderful. Matter of fact, I'm just uh, on cloud 11. Yes. <laughs> we love it there. Yes. We love beyond it the there. Beyond the clouds. Beyond the clouds. <laughs> beyond the clouds. So, Dr. Portia is a grief recovery specialist. <laughs> And one of the things that we just discussed in our first session was permission to love and live. So, my first question for you is, what should permission look like in our lives? When you authorize something in your life, you, 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 you let go and you just allow it to be. And whatever it is that God is telling you to do, He has already given you permission to do it. Yes. Yes. And why does it matter? Why does permission? We do a lot of things on behalf of others. And this work is about it being on behalf of ourselves. Absolutely. So why do you think that's so important to kind of reinforce that concept? Well, you know, you just said it, you know, really clear is that we, we pour as women, typically, mm -hmm. we pour into so many other people. We pour into our significant others, our parents, our children, into our community, into our jobs. But we often don't take the time to pour back into ourselves, to love on ourselves. Because sometimes we've given love so much away that we forget, like, wait a minute, what did I do to love on myself? What did I do to replenish myself? What did I do to reset? Did I get enough rest? Did I take those naps? Did I do the things that I want to do for myself? And as I'm on that same space, I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we get so tired, we forget to stop and take our pulse. We forget to do our checkups, specifically from the neck up. Mm -hmm. We forget to do the things that God wants us to, us to do in order to take care of ourselves so that we can have a long life while living and living it in a healthy manner. Yes. And when you talk about doing the work from the neck up, give us more specifics about what that really looks like. Check in with your, your spirit, with your mind from time to time. Where, where are your thoughts? Are you thinking on positive? Are you thinking on negatives? And I always say this, you know, and when I'm doing whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm making a conscious decision. If, if, is what I'm doing, and I'm thinking about something that's going to bless me up or something that's going to mess me up? Hey. Do I need to leave it behind or do I need to move forward? So if it's, if it's God given, I know it's going to bless me up. Absolutely. But if it's not of God, then it has the potential to mess me up. Getting checked up from the neck up, meaning if I need to go talk to a counselor or a therapist to help me to re-clear, reset my mind because I've been told I couldn't and you shouldn't, you will never be and you ain't all that stuff that we've been told that's negative, that negative yang, 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 we've been listening to the voices and not the voice, we can get it twisted sometimes. So we need to go get a checkup from the neck up to make sure that we're in the right space at the right time. Absolutely, absolutely. And connected to that, another thing that you talked about in your session was having an accountability part. And so many times because we're doing work on behalf of others or the world or what we want our, the belief about us to be, that we may skip that step. So talk about what an accountability partner is when it comes to this kind of holistic work mm -hmm. and why it matters. Well, someone who has the same values as you, who have the same type of belief system as you, yes. that you can call and say, look, I need you to hold me accountable to the following things. I'm working on this book and, and I have a timeline. I want you to hold me accountable or I, I, I'm going through some health challenges and I want you to hold me accountable to make sure I'm going to my doctor's appointments. Whatever that situation is where someone is going to hold you accountable and say, Jennifer, did you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and did you X, Y, Z? Right. You know, so whatever it is, we want to make sure that we have that person who is encouraging us as well as holding us accountable for what we're responsible for doing and what we intend to do. Yes. It's a fresh set of eyes Absolutely. that is rooted in care. Absolutely. Absolutely. All in love. All in love. Mm -hmm. All in love. When you think of the idea of I am that woman, who is that woman 
when it comes to you. I am peace. I am powerful. I am full of joy. I radiate the glow of God because God is always pouring into me. And so when you see me, you see God. I am who God says that I am. And I can be who God says that I can be. I am ever evolving. So at the end of this journey, mm -hmm. I can say I was created to be. God said that I was all to be. And I'll say, used up to the second power, meaning I was used up by God. And that's who I am. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sister. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Stay tuned for so much more from I Am That Woman Retreat. And we will be back.